guys, are you ready to show our cabin? Yeah. Hey. Right. Hello, everyone. This is Alex from Camper Hill Company from Poland. As you already already know, we are making uh, pickup campers. All right. And today I want to show you our uh, top model, which is called Sahara Ice. Aero One Sahara Ice. Uh, this is our first. Uh, film which we make uh, that way. Uh, for the last four years, we completely didn't didn't have a time to uh, make any film because simply saying, we work in the workshop as animals. Now we've got just half an hour before our customer arrive. Oh, sorry. Oh uh, yeah. Within half an hour, our customer is coming to pick up the cabin, so we have a while to show you uh, our cabin. Uh, a few uh, words about our cabins. So we make them in two colors. It's a very durable, lightweight uh, pickup camper. Uh, this one is fully equipped. We make them in four versions. Uh, and that one, as I said, is Sahara Ice. It's fully equipped. It's got it's got uh, heating, uh, two water tanks, uh, all lightning inside, uh, air condition. Uh, that one is is a, a special Sahara ice because our customer he didn't want to have air condition, but in standards for Sahara ice we always fit it. Uh, owning outside uh, and uh, the rest uh, I I just. Show you. Oh, I see. I, I forgot to shut the door. Okay. Uh, five windows. Three windows on, on this side. Two windows on the other side. And I think we can start from uh, from the outside, and later on we'll go inside. Okay. Uh, if you guys, if one of you will come with me. So here we have we've got uh, electricity electricity outlet, yeah, for uh, power supply, 230 volts. This is for this is the winter cover for the fridge. We are using compressor fridge, which is the Basso EL65, 65, 65 liters capacity. This is the <coughs> this is gas locker. So we. Uh, Supply uh, heating and uh, cooking in two versions: gas version and uh, diesel version. That one is uh, in this one we fitted 28 liter uh, LPG bottle. Yeah, it's fitted for good. Uh, you don't need to uh, look for when when you are traveling uh, around the world or anywhere in Europe or even in your country. You, you don't need to look for any exchanging point for uh, gas bottles. Uh, you just go to the petrol station. If they have LPG uh, fuel, so you just open it, plug the gun, fill up the bottle, and you can enjoy your journey as long as you want. Uh, for deluxe version and for uh, Sahara Ice version, and also for comfort version, we fit uh, real lights. Why do, do we fit them? Just because of the angle for other drivers. Uh, the cabin, if, if you want to turn right or left, it, the cabin is much better visible from a certain angle, yeah? Uh, and they just know what your intentions are, yeah? Okay, this is uh, exhaust, uh, gas uh, exhaust, through my exhaust. Uh, it also can be diesel exhaust. Uh, for uh, gas heating, uh, we are using Truma uh, Truma uh, heater and uh, two burner uh, cooker with sink and, uh, and the tap, cold and hot, hot water. Uh, for diesel versions, we are using a Planar Marine uh, diesel heater and uh, 
the Basco X100 uh, diesel cooker, which uh, is um, which which has got um, ceramic plate. Okay, uh, the rear lamp step light uh, is with uh, movement sensor, so it should it it doesn't work. Not it doesn't. Oh. We've got the uh, electricity switch off, so 12, 12 volt supply is switched off, but trust me, it works. Okay, uh, airlines uh, at the back, at the rear wall, are always in standard, three times, time, uh, three times, times uh, 100 uh, centimeters, and you can uh, fit a lot of equipment into it. Uh, uh, for this cabin, we'll fit a bike rack for two bikes. Uh, but we, we didn't put it yet, so we'll do it later. All right, uh, a big wardrobe, which is uh, heated and vented. As you see, there's a vent. Uh, the wardrobe has got two shelves. Crank handle for Fiamma owning is always uh, in standard. Uh, the light, as uh, you know, it's already switched off. Uh, the hanger for your belongings. And uh, so sh we, we always put here a fire extinguisher as a safety e equipment. Uh, here's a shower uh, curtain and uh, shower hose. And if one of you will show uh, how the uh, wardrobe is heated, just in there. So you can use uh, this counter uh, in the winter time. If, if you've got some wet garments, you, you can just put it and it will dry during the night. So no problem at all. So you can also uh, put uh, much bigger uh, items inside. So uh, the height of the wardrobe uh, from outside is one meter, one uh, centimeter, and the wide is around uh, 45 centimeters. So it's plenty of space, plenty of room. Okay. Two windows on this side, and in here you've got a water inlet. Okay. Uh, how do we how do we uh, secure the cabin to the truck bed? So we have a lot of points uh, of strapping uh, the cabin. Uh, you can use our standard airlines, which are two in the front and two at the back. Uh, you can always use. Uh, I'm using this in my iPhone. So for the rear, uh, where the uh, usually uh, where the bolt plugs are, so I'm I'm just uh, fitting this eyelet, and I'm hooking the eyelet on the truck bed. So uh, this is the barbecue plug. Uh, it's a uh, so it's extra equipment, but we have a we have we've got it in our offer. Ah, oh, okay. Here, here you go. You can you can con connect just a grill, gas grill uh, here. Uh, these three pipes is for one. The thickest one is for the grey water, and two are for releasing uh, fresh water and for the air, uh, for the water tanks. Uh, actually, for that uh, hot water uh, heater. Uh, from inside, many of you ask me how uh, can they uh, attach the cabin to, to the truck bed. You see, here you have flaps on 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 this side. On the other side, you just open it from from inside, and you have an access to strap the cabin to the truck bed. Okay. Uh, what else can I show to you? Fiamma owning. Yeah, it's a start, it's Fiamma S45. It's 260, uh, 2 meters, 60 centimeters wide. Uh, you just you, use it, you just attach the crank handle, you open it and you close it. You can use it very, very quickly. The awning on the top is, uh, you can, in standard we are giving just one awning. The awning can be uh, installed on this height. Uh, usually people ask me to fit it here when they don't take off the cabin, uh, they don't take the cabin off the truck. But if you uh, want to take it off the truck, 
we can install this camera awning on top position, on, the, on top of position above the window frame. So this awning you can order this awning in standard or wide camp, camp awning, which is not as automatic as Fiamma awning, but it's very easy to use. So when you take the cabin of the truck, you put it on the ground or 20 centimeters above the ground. Uh, you just open it and you can uh, use. Uh, you use it uh, staying on, on your on your legs. You don't have to bend yourself uh, in wh when you put the uh, uh, when you put your cabin with th that height on the ground. We we can also on the other side. We can also put uh, Fiamma owning, uh, but only in one position as well as uh, white camp uh, white camp uh, owning. On the, above the windows lane, uh, because as you see, we don't have enough uh, land to put the Fiamma awning because it's 260. Uh, this awning rays uh, are also available for as an extra equipment, so you can have them. Our customer ordered it on, on this side, and he ordered also um, um, awning rail uh, above the back door. Uh, okay. Let's go inside. So here we go. Before we go inside, so as you see, we are using going doors just because of the shape of our cabin. We don't have a flat door, at a flat wall at the back, so we need to use that kind of door. Uh, we, as, as I said, you have a, or you have also actually you have also inside. Uh, we uh, were able to fit the portable to toilet inside, but it's standard in uh, many cabins. But uh, our uh, truck bed, our our do our um, floor is actually flat, so we have con constructed a special uh, kind of uh, shower tray, which is located here. You see, to use it, you just strap this gun. Strap it here, okay, it's open now, and you hook the shower curtain to these four points. So I was always saying it's an emergency shower, but if you really need to use it here, uh, you can do it, or if you have small children, uh, they can use it easily. You don't have to worry about any water splashes, because all furniture are made of balsa plywood or composite uh, uh, boards. And all of them are covered with HPL laminate, which is very, very durable uh, against the water. So no worries about uh, any damages uh, with in, in furniture. Okay, I will close it now. The shower. So where, where is the shower lo located? So the shower is located here. So you just plug the shower hose and you can use the shower inside. Or you can just sit at, at, at steps outside, or you can stay here and use the shower outside. Easy. Okay, what we've got else here? So, in this locker, we have a Truma heater with all valves. There is also located uh, the valve for releasing fresh water from the fresh water tank. And a few cables 